LaDonna Adrian Gaines, better known as Donna Summer or simply as the Queen of Disco, passed away on May 17, 2012, at the age of 63. Donna Summer was the most successful black singer of the 1970s on the Hot 100, reaching number one with four singles, spending 13 weeks at the top and placing nine songs in the top ten. She spent a total of 347 weeks on the Hot 100 with 32 singles, reaching the top ten with 14 of them, including the most awarded song of 1978 and the biggest disco hit of 1979. Welcome to Donna Summer's Ultimate Countdown. This time we'll be counting down the 10 greatest hits on the Billboard Hot 100 of the undisputed Queen of Disco. Number 10. Heaven Knows. Heaven Knows is a song from the 1978 album Live and More, the first live album recorded by the Queen of Disco. It features the group Brooklyn Dreams with Joe Esposito on vocals and Donna Summer's future husband Bruce Sudano on guitar and keyboard. Heaven Knows peaked at number 4 in March 1979, spent 19 weeks on the Hot 100, and was the number 39 song on the 1979 Billboard year-end chart. Number 9. Last Dance Last Dance was the second single released from the soundtrack of the film Thank God It's Friday and was the most awarded song by the entertainment industry in 1978, as it won an Oscar, a Golden Globe, and two Grammy Awards. So let's dance. Let's dance. It peaked at number 3 in August 1978, spent 21 weeks on the Hot 100, and was the number 34 song on the 1978 Billboard year-end chart. Number 8. The Wanderer The Wanderer was the first single released from the 1980 album of the same name. It was the hit song that marked a musical departure for Donna Summer, who was officially leaving disco behind to embrace a more new wave and rock-influenced dance style. Ooh, it peaked at number 3 in November 1980, spent 20 weeks on chart, and was the only one of the three singles released from that album to reach the top 30 on the Hot 100. Number 7. She works hard for the money. She works hard for the money was the first single released from the album of the same name. It is Donna Summer's most successful single released since 1980. It peaked at number 3 in August 1983, spent 21 weeks on the Hot 100, and was the number 15 song on Billboard's 1983 year-end chart. The woman behind Donna Summer on the back cover of the album She Works Hard for the Money is Onetta Johnson, the real-life restroom attendant whose working conditions inspired the singer to write the title of the song. Number 6. Love to Love You Baby Love to Love You Baby is a song from the album of the same name released in 1975. It is famous for its erotic lyrics and sultry vocals, so explicit that it was banned by the BBC, whose censors somehow calculated that the track contained 23 simulated orgasms. However, this was not the first time that an unusually erotic song by the standards of the time had achieved massive success, as in 1972, the Chakaches climbed to number 8 on the Hot 100 with Jungle Fever. Love to Love You Baby peaked at number 2 in February 1976, spent 18 weeks on the Hot 100 and was the 41st song on Billboard's 1976 year-end chart. Number 5. Dim All the Lights Dim All the Lights was released as the third single from the album Bad Girls and was Donna Summer's fourth consecutive top 10 hit in 1979. It was the only song written entirely by Donna Summer to reach the top 10. She had originally considered giving it to Rod Stewart, but ended up recording it herself. Dim All the Lights peaked at number 2 in November 1979, spent 21 weeks on the Hot 100, and was the 74th song on Billboard's 1980 year-end chart. Number 4. No More Tears, Enough is Enough. 
No More Tears is a song written by Paul Jabara and Bruce Roberts for Barbara Streisand's concept album Wet, released in 1979. It was also included on Donna Summer's compilation album on the radio, Greatest Hits Volumes 1 and 2. This song went to number one on the Hot 100 in November 1979, making Donna Summer and Barbara Streisand the first female duo to top the chart. No More Tears spent two weeks at number one, 15 weeks on the Hot 100, and was the 38th song on Billboard's 1980 year end chart. Number three. MacArthur Park MacArthur Park is a song written by Jimmy Webb, originally recorded by Irish singer and actor Richard Harris in 1968. Spring was never waiting for us, girl. It ran one step ahead. In 1978, Donna Summer recorded a disco version of the song for her album Live and More, which topped the Hot 100 for three consecutive weeks and became the number 12 song on Billboard's 1979 year end chart. Spring was never waiting for us, dear. On the week of November 11, 1978, Donna Summer topped both the Hot 100 and the Hot 200 with the single, MacArthur Park and the album Live and More, becoming the second black female solo artist to simultaneously top the two most important charts in the music industry. Number 2. Hot Stuff Hot Stuff was the first single released from the album Bad Girls. It spent three non-consecutive weeks at number one on the Hot 100 and was the longest-running top ten song of the year, spending 14 consecutive weeks there between May and August 1979. Unlike Donna Summer's previous material, Hot Stuff showed a significant rock direction, including a guitar solo by ex-Doobie Brothers and Steely Dan guitarist Jeff Baxter. Hot Stuff won the first Grammy Award for Best Female Rock Vocal Performance, spent 21 weeks on the Hot 100, and was the seventh song on Billboard's 1979 year-end chart. According to the Billboard Hot 100's Greatest of All Time chart, Hot Stuff is Donna Summer's top song although it was not the one that topped the Hot 100 for the most weeks. Number 1. Bad Girls Bad Girls is a song co-written by Donna Summer and members of the New York band Brooklyn Dreams. It went to number one on the Hot 100 in July 1979, spent five consecutive weeks at the top, and was the number two song on Billboard's 1979 year-end chart. On the week of June 30, 1979, Hot Stuff and Bad Girls were number two and number three on the Hot 100, making Donna Summer the first female artist to place two songs simultaneously in the top three. The line originates from the Latin Boogaloo song Bang Bang, recorded by the Joe Cuba Sextet and released in 1966. Bad Girls was nominated for a Grammy Award for Best Disco Recording, but lost to Gloria Gaynor's I Will Survive, in a competition that included other high-profile nominees such as Michael Jackson's Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, Earth Ween and Fire's Boogie Wonderland, and Rod Stewart's Do You Think I'm Sexy. This was the ultimate countdown of Donna Summer's top 10 hits according to Billboard's Hot 100. Check out these other Ultimate Countdowns to learn more about the chart history of the greatest artists of all time, and be sure to subscribe.